Hello everybody. It's time for my new vlog post. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Here is triple digits. Beautiful. Sunshine. Blue skies. Not too breezy. Gorgeous. Now the title of this one is Forced Relationships Love John 3.17 They were sweeping the country like wild fire. Malls Daddy would get tired working, living, dealing. Sometimes he just get tired. Mama would look at him and know, not fed up, tired. He'd have that some kind of way look, you know. The door opened. He walked in and said, get dressed, I'll be back. Mama would take off running, going all around the house, throwing things in a large weekend bag. She could pack lunch, Give me orders as to what to wear. Tell me what to throw into the weekender. And comb her hair all at the same time. Finishing up with, and brush your teeth. Mama's best friend was going through a lot. I don't know what, but I remember she was saying Daddy came back, loaded up the car, and drove to her house. She came out and got in the back seat with me. She greeted us. Mama looked at Daddy, and he looked at her. He said, I kind of thought she needed a little break. Mama said, yes, she does. And then we took off for one of the best shopping sprees this old bird has ever been on. Daddy bought each one of us something super special. Mama got a new dress, her best friend got new shoes, and I got a new midi coat. You had many midi and maxi lamps back in the day. Mine was a midi, and I loved it. The hem stopped between your knee and your ankle, closer to your ankle. Daddy got a new hat. It, was, it wasn't just the things we got. It was the forced caring. Mama was first. Daddy looked at her and said, let's get you a new dress. We all headed to that area of the department store. They used to have seats in the clothing departments. Mama's friend and I sat down, talked and waited. Daddy and Mama went off to find the right dress to try on. She found two, tried one on, and came out for our opinions. Then the second one. She listened, and then she made her decision. My turn. We all went over to the dress coats in my size. Daddy said, I 
think you need one of these new style coats. Then he reached up and pulled out my coat. Do you like this one? I asked. A midi? Yeah, I think so. Do you like it? Yes, sir. Well, let's try it on. It fit perfectly. Are you sure you like it? Yes, sir. Okay. Mama gave me that look. Daddy? Yes? Thank you. You're welcome. Mama and her friend were walking and talking. Daddy stopped walking. He went over to Mama's friend and said, I know you want a new pair of shoes. She said, oh, you've done enough. I'm enjoying this so much. Daddy told her that he wanted her to get a new red pair of shoes. She started laughing. The three of us sat down while she walked over and started looking at shoes. The salesman came over and asked if he could help us with anything. Daddy told him yes he could. He explained that the lady looking at the shoes was interested in getting a pair of red shoes. The salesman took off and went to help her. She came and sat with us. He brought out four pair, sat down, and started putting them on her feet. When she'd stand up, we'd tell her how we liked the pair, and so on, until she chose the pair that she liked best. Mama asked how they felt. Daddy said that the first pair was a strange pinkish color, not red. This pair is red. Daddy went up to the counter and paid for the shoes. She was smiling and thanked him. And Mama also was thankful. She hugged Mama and thanked Mama. Mama looked at Daddy and said, Okay, now you need a new church hat. We went to the men's department. Daddy tried on hats as we looked on from our seats, giving him our opinions. When he landed on one that he really liked, he looked at me, wearing the hat cocked to the side and asked, am I sharp as a tack? I said, yes, daddy, sharp as a tack. That's the one we got. We left the mall and went to a nice restaurant to eat. Then we headed back. Daddy stopped at my mom's friend's house first. She was smiling from ear to ear as she gathered up her bag with the new red shoes. She thanked them again and walked up the steps to her house. Mama told Daddy, thank you for what you did for my friend. That shopping spree was life-changing. We loved our new things. 
but it was the time we spent caring for each other, spending time together, laughing together. Daddy erased his tired by putting his focus on loving us. We left the routine. No contact with the usual. We enjoyed a different meal. I don't even remember conversation about anything involving work, school, or problems. Small talk filled with smiles. With all that has been happening now, maybe a little forced relationships love would be a tremendous help, not only for ourselves, but for our family, a friend, and just maybe for our country. Now in my handmade life, this one is a skyscraper. <laughs>